Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 6th at 8.05 a.m. I'm gonna do a video watch list today. Uh, for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every Monday, and then every day or every other day, I do one for the members. So this is kind of your way to see what my thought process is like, what I'm kind of thinking about, how I'm trying to do this, and then you can kind of take that reverse engineer it into your process. So uh, one thing that I wanna start with uh, is, if you have any questions about trading or if you're brand new to trading or if you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, you could text Tosh at 213-458-5997. There's no robot, there's no algo. He's actually gonna be the one that responds to you. Uh, so this is kind of like a, a unique personal way to kind of see what we have to offer. Um, so today is Monday, so I wanna give you guys kind of like a lesson in trader psychology. Um, for me personally on Mondays, Mondays are my worst performing days. Um, I'm so excited over the weekend. All I think about is trading over the weekend that I get a little bit too trigger happy. It's kind of like what Bao says. It's like the first day out of quarantine, the first girl you see, you're gonna go crazy, right? So it's kind of like that with trading uh, on a Monday. So what I do is I try to be more self-aware. I try to reflect more and try to kind of slow myself down on Mondays. Um, but the plan is still the same. We're gonna stick to the process every single day, the same routine every single day, right? So. If you find yourself over trading today, if you find yourself getting FOMO, just walk away. Uh, there's plenty of time. The market is hotter than ever. Uh, there's been more plays than ever. There's been more part market participants than ever. So the stock market is not going anywhere. Uh, your mental uh, strength and your mental clarity is everything. Everyone is losing their mind during the quarantine. Everyone's going crazy. Like People are losing uh, money from their day jobs. Everyone's stuck at home. Their wife is fighting with them. Their kids are giving them a headache. So... Uh, remember that to trade properly, you need to have a clear head. So do whatever it takes to clear your head. Uh, apologize to your girlfriend, kiss your kids, whatever the hell it is. Just get your shit together because this is a real fucking job. All right, so let's start with Ecor. Ecor is a low hanging fruit. Um, you can see that uh, the first day, well, when it ran this day on volume, it pulled back. So it kind of did the same thing this day when it uh, ran on volume. So what we're looking for on Ecore is basically just drawing our lines, guys, right? So we are drawing our lines around, give me a second. So we're looking around 115. We're looking around the 120s mark. We're looking around the 130s mark. And we're looking around the 140s mark. So ideally, we look to short at each of these lines, but even if it gets towards this 106 level, that's too inner, to be honest. Like, this is too risky to short here. I'd rather short up here. So just waiting for this E-Core. I will not chase weakness on it. So I'm looking around at a bunch of other plays. APT, um, so this has been a great trader lately. Uh, the problem with APT is, let me show you. If you stay past 1030 on the short side, you're dead. So 1030 here, rebounded. Um, 1030 here, rebounded. And guess what's gonna probably happen today at 10.30? It's gonna fucking rebound. So what I'm looking for in the mornings, I'm looking for a push towards 17 hold dollar mark to short it. Or if it goes red, looking to short the break of red for a quick nail and bail short. Again, I will not overstay on this stock. It has proved to me that it likes to rebound. So in and out guys, in and out. Codex, this had a coronavirus PR. Um, if you look at it, I'm just eyeballing it. I see this 1170s level as a top, but to be honest, what I'm really looking for on something like this is for it to push towards 1150, 1170, fail, and then looking to short the bounce. So, so far it's kind of gone from 12 to 11. If this kind of washes out to 1050 and bounces towards 11, 1120 at the morning, that's something I'm really interested in as well. But again, this is a coronavirus play, so you must be nimble, you must be fast, because if you are not, uh, you're gonna get trapped. CEI uh, is a low hanging fruit. Uh, we were kind of talking about this uh, on Friday. We mentioned that the 190 area was kind of like the death line on it. So it kind of broke that level and didn't come back. So what I'm looking for on something like this is I am looking for a pop towards this $2 level, kind of $2 right here. Uh, looking for this 210-ish, give me a sec. Well, 220-ish is a little bit better. So what I'm looking for is two to 220, kind of this area to short it. And if we get this much outer line here around 240, that'd be great as well, but kind of doubt it. Um, so yeah, guys, looking for a pop here, here, here. Always draw your lines, always draw your lines and keep them on there because it's a visual representation, right? So right when you see the stock pop to this line, you don't have to think to yourself because you know that you already drew it and you 
uh, have a plan for it, right? Last but not least, I see AIM. If you look at the daily chart, you see a resistance level at 350. So kind of waiting to see how 350 acts on this. Um, and yeah, guys, so I'm gonna have some more commentary at the open. If more stocks pop up, I'm gonna talk about that. But what I do is at the end of these videos, I give you a secret word uh, so that you could reply to make sure that you guys are watching till the very end of this. Uh, every single day, the watch list has consistently had one or two plays that are just free money if you just follow the rules. So I just want to make sure that you guys are all watching it. So today's secret word is going to be espresso. Um, so let's kick some ass, guys. I'm going to do a video recap on YouTube at 11 o'clock. So see you guys then and good luck today.